Hello there. So, I'm just going to take a minute and sit back and laugh at the irony of the Red Pillars. So, for any of you who don't know what um, Red Pill is, um, if you look up Red Pill philosophy, you'll see what um, morons like that are. Um, Red Pill is basically um, like a right-wing libertarian philosophy. This um, is always, so when it comes to right-wing libertarianism, um, it's always this very pro-capitalist, um, and it's very, it's always this pro-capitalist, like, belief. They tend to be these big fans of free market with little government, inter with little to no government interference, not quite end caps, but they start to come a little bit closer to it. So, taking a look at it, um, there was the Red Pill movie that came out recently. So, um, I was looking at it, and um, I looked into it um, when it came to the movie, um, because Bane666AU told me that apparently the movie has been shut down. Of course, I didn't know what they meant by it had been shut down. I thought that they meant that the movie had been shut down from production because feminists had decided that it wasn't allowed, which I may be a feminist, but because I am anti-censorship, I do think that they should have been able to make the movie. But I looked into it. It was a petition at one particular movie theater in Australia, I think, I do know, of, I am sure about the one theater and the women, I'm not sure of the location of this theater. But, while looking at it, it was one petition for that one place, and now that movie theater is not showing because they caved into the pressure. So, I felt like this would be a funny time to talk about how capitalism always seems to betray the right-wing libertarians whenever liberals come along or whenever people who um, think that um, their views are abhorrent. So, yeah, when it comes to Red Pill, they basically... Um, so, they ended up caving to the pressure of the petition. This is something that wouldn't happen in a communist society because you wouldn't have to deal with PR in quite the same way because you'd be you wouldn't be worried about a profit but because they are worried about a profit and apparently this somehow um, was a significant threat to their profit which kind of surprises me a little bit the fact that this was a strike to their profit means that it's an example of absolutely nothing. It, it means that it's an example of capitalism bending over the right libertarians and using them like it uses everybody else, but making it hurt. And then these libertarians will claim that it's not capitalism. So it just makes me laugh quite a bit that they think that this is censorship. This isn't censorship. This is PR. It is capitalism. It is a private corporation dealing with what they have to deal with. So the fact that they caved to pressure has nothing to do with um, censorship. The MRM is not being censored. The red pill is not being censored. Um, so, in the end, it is really just pointless, whinging sophistry from the right wing. But then again, could I have expected any less?